Hey, Trevor Matthews coming to you from the Emerson Refrigeration Training Center here in Brantford, Canada. Today, I want to talk about managing superheat for the trans critical side. So the medium temp side of your CO2 booster system. I've talked about it in a previous post, why it's important to maintain superheat. Check that out. It's in the description. And it's very important to manage that because if you start going below 9K or 18 degrees Fahrenheit, superheat, I usually tell everyone 20 degrees, it's easier Fahrenheit. But it's so important because when you start going below that, you're going to start causing bearing wear in the compressor. And behind me here, I have a plate heat exchanger right here. So this line right here comes from the gas cooler condenser. So you have hot discharge gas coming in, in here, up through the plate, and then out down this line to the high pressure valve right here. And then that goes to the flash tank receiver. On the other side, right here, right here, I have the suction, medium temp suction coming back to the plate. And then it goes back into the medium temp compressor for MTL. I have this one set up here for 25 degrees superheat. So anytime it starts to drop below 25 degrees, what happens is this valve starts to shut. It starts to close off. So it heats up the suction line. So we make sure that we do not go below the threshold. If you have worked on any CO2 transcritical systems, let me know how you manage your superheat on the transcritical side, the medium temp compressors. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.